Welcome back for another Book Talk video. Happy Science Fiction Sunday to you. I've been altering my schedule lately. I'm doing it again today because I want to talk about James Duhon's trilogy called the Flight Engineer Trilogy or the Flight Engineer Series or Flight Engineer number one, number two, and number three. The books are The Rising, The Privateer, and The Independent Command. If you're thinking to yourself that face on the cover looks familiar or the name James Duhon sounds familiar then you are probably a fan of Star Trek or you know someone who is because that face on the cover is the face of Scotty the chief engineer from Star Trek the original series and Star Trek the motion picture on through Star Trek 6 and Star Trek Generations right? James Duhon is the actor behind Scotty and I suppose when he decided to publish some books someone in marketing recommended that he put his face on the cover because of his fame as Scotty. I was very intrigued to find his face on the cover of these books. And let me tell you my story behind the story of how I ended up reading these books. As a teacher, I move classrooms a lot. Over the years, I would say on average, I've had to move classrooms about every two to three years. And the last time that I moved classrooms, one of the teachers, maybe more, were kind enough to leave a bunch of books on the shelves as they retired or left teaching and so I ended up with some books that I'd never read or didn't know about in the classroom and the first book in the series was one of those books The Rising by James Duhon. He actually got another writer to help him with the series and that is S.M. Sterling who I'm not really familiar with but I really ended up enjoying the story of these books. I found it in my classroom. I read through the first book and said, you know, I might as well buy the other books. I went ahead, went online, found some cheap used paperbacks and ordered them. It was nice to find that copy that had just been left behind, donated by that teacher. I am not recommending these books for the writing. Don't hear me incorrectly. The writing in the first book especially is really clunky at the beginning. It takes a while, I think, for James Duhon as a writer to get into the flow, even with S.M. Sterling, I guess, maybe helping him revise his prose or to tell the story in a better way. But I love the story. The characters and the story were really intriguing. I recommend this series not for the writing, but for the characters and the story. I'm a huge fan of Star Trek. I'm also a huge fan of Wing Commander, if you're familiar with the old video games of Wing Commander, which I know they made a film for as well. But you, you could play Wing Commander on the computer, all the different versions, 2 and 3 and Privateer and on and on. This, to me, very much felt like James Duhon kind of took a mix of Star Trek and Wing Commander and put them together. And that's because the main character is what he calls a flight engineer. He is a person in a command leadership position who helps preside over the pilots and the ships that go out from the ship. So he's commanding the engineers, and he's commanding, really, the pilot team as well for the small attack ships that launch from the larger ship. So really intriguing concept and the main character does manage to rise in rank throughout the series which is pretty neat to see and you can kind of tell that from the title since the third book is called the independent command in other words command is in there but i like it when an author is able to take something like a star trek or wing commander setting but make it their own as their own setting where you have ships that clearly have a captain or a commander and they have crews that are similar to those kind of science fiction settings. So it's just kind of a generic setting in that sense that has the same sort of feel or appeal as you might find in one of those. But I really enjoyed it. He has to problem solve issues in space and with battles and he thinks through it like an engineer. So it's nice to have that standpoint. He's also, as a main character, a pretty crazy guy who's willing to go to the extremes and do things that other people in a military service or a bureaucracy would not be willing to do which makes the character stand out, gets them to connect it to some interesting people. I don't want to give you spoilers, though. Other than to say, there are also space pirates. And I love space pirates in a good science fiction, space battle kind of setting. If you like sci-fi, 
sci-fi adventure stories, those kind of settings and characters. I think you would enjoy the series. Once you get through the clunkiness of the writing in the first part of the first book, the writing does improve and it keeps improving throughout the series. So if you start reading book one and you're a little concerned about it, don't worry, just push through it. And like I said, it will get better. Overall, it kind of reminded me as an overall story arc of the Old Man's War series, which I had read prior to reading this. Kind of the way that things unfold, an intergalactic community dealing with alien threats and problems and all of that. I hope that you have enjoyed today's book talk. Every day is a good day for a book talk. Peace.